Hey guys, it is Emery out here on the farm with you and I wanted to show you um, a very interesting plant. Um, it is a plant that has poisonous leaves, um, so you cannot um, consume them. Um, but the stalks are good for consuming and they are particularly good when paired with strawberries. Anybody have any guesses? Um, if you guessed rhubarb, you would be correct. Um, so I'm going to show you our rhubarb here. Um, these are the rhubarb plants. Now there are a few different um, types of rhubarb um, plants. Some of the rhubarb um, is rainbow rhubarb, um, or sorry, I'm thinking rainbow Swiss chard, um, red rhubarb, um, or there's green, and then there's um, multicolored. So we have the multicolored, um, so it doesn't get that dark red. Um, it stays mostly green, um, but you can see there are some, um, there's some pink down towards the bottom. I mean, it'll start to come up a little bit, um, but most of the time it's going to stay um, just green. So um, we make sure to have it all planted um, all the way up at the house here. Um, we do not want it anywhere near any of the goats um, in case there was ever a breakout. Um, we would not want any chance of them consuming the leaves and um, having trouble with that. So it's planted all the way up here. Um, and when we, um, when we pick any of it, um, we make sure that the leaves don't head out to the compost pile or anything, which is out by the goats, um, just in case. Um, because when you have goats, you realize... Um, you can but never be too prepared for um, them getting out because one little slip, whether it's forgetting to lock one gate, whether it's um, leaving a something in the pen that they're using to climb over and jump uh, and get out, whether it's a tree falling in the storm and crushing a fence line, um, all sorts of different things can happen. Um, and you can bet as soon as something does happen, those goats are going to know about it and they are going to get out. So being prepared um, is always important. Um, and that's why we keep it all the way up here. So we have a few plants. We have this one, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five, um, five of the rhubarb plants here. Um, we use this mainly for strawberry rhubarb pie um, or strawberry rhubarb, rhubarb crumble. Um, those are the main ways we do it, as well as we'll do some things like strawberry rhubarb jam. Um, and I think we do just a rhubarb jam. Um, so all sorts of fun things that you can do with rhubarb, but figured I would share. Um, and uh, well, there's one more fun thing about rhubarb. Um, there's quite a bit of debate as whether it is better to cut or pull um, rhubarb. So a lot of people um, like to just pull the leaves or pull the stalks. Um, and when you do that, um, it pulls pretty neatly um, and cleanly right out of the base of the plant. Um, and others say that it is better to cut. Um, I don't care either way. Um, if I have a knife on me, I tend to cut because it's easier. If I don't, I tend to pull because I don't have a knife and I don't feel like going into getting one. But that's mainly just because I'm kind of lazy. So if I can get away with doing with less walking, uh, you can bet I'm going to. So anyway, just wanted to share all of that. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will catch you later.